I'm Bobby Asgar. This is the newsroom. COVID-19 update. The pandemic has hit Europe, the US and the UK, but not nearly as hard as it's about to. From its rate of spread in China and comparing how quickly and forcefully the Chinese authorities dealt with the virus, we can gauge that the situation is going to get much worse in those countries whose response has been hesitant, weak or slow. Panic shopping is rife and fast rising. Shelves are being emptied faster than they could be filled. Gun sales in the US have surged. It paints a surreal and worrying picture. It is true that a potential vaccine is currently being tested in Germany. President Trump attempted to secure the vaccine exclusively for use in the US. Thankfully, the bid rumored to be $1 billion was rejected. The German government is currently funding the vaccine's research and development. Keep in mind, the vaccine is both experimental and weeks away from testing. Human trials are expected to commence in late April. Whether the tests will prove successful is unknown. It'll take weeks to find out. If they are successful, on mass manufacturing and effective distribution could take up to 18 months. Governments are talking about flattening the curve. Their hope is to reduce its impact on the health system and minimize the damage to the economy. They're going to need your firm commitment to do it. Surprisingly, some say the virus isn't serious or believe it to be fake news. To those who are complaining about the restrictions, my advice is wake up. Frankly, they're not nearly enough. The world is in chaos. The closures are a dire necessity. Yes, you will suffer. The hardship will last for a long, long while. But it's better than the alternative. COVID-19 is deadly. It's global. And it's very, very real. I'm Bobby Asgar. Please, share this report. Thank you.